What is up you guys, we're back and the Christmas season is just about to end. Supercell has just announced in the settings here that the, if I can find it, uh, the Christmas trees are now officially over. You won't be getting any more Christmas trees. However, if you've gotten the ones that have spawned on your base, then you can keep those however long that you want. However, in this case, we have a little too many <laughs> and in the wrong areas. Uh, when I went to play the game, I left my defense without the Christmas design. So I have two extra ones that aren't in the right position. However, I do have a lot of Christmas trees this time. I think I got five, eight total if you're counting all the Christmas trees. But uh, five, I believe five new ones that have spawned this December. So I'm really excited. That's the most that I've ever gotten before. And that's pretty amazing because I didn't think I'd get that many. Usually I get about three, if I'm lucky four. But this year is really awesome. I got five this year. If you guys have gotten six or more, that's awesome. But five is a really big number for Christmas trees to spawn for one month. So we got five. And today, this episode, you guys, what we're going to do is we're going to cut them down. We're going to cut down at least two of them. And we're going to see what we get from them. So let's go ahead and cut this Christmas tree down just because it's in the way of my base design and I don't really need it. So I already have two or actually three that are in a good position. So we'll cut down two and we're going to see what we get from this. It's a little sad because these come only once a year. I understand that. But, uh, you know, what's the fun if you can't cut at least one or two down? Collect some of the gold that they got. Usually that's what they give you. They give you gold. Let me see how much, if they change the amount or not. I have to write Supercell and tell them this one was a dud, a bad Christmas tree. Uh, oh, 75000 So that is the same price. Good stuff. And we got some presents. We The presents stayed and they didn't disappear with the tree, so we can go ahead and collect those. And you can keep those if you want. You know, just as long as you don't touch them, they will remain there. And if you have your tree, of course, they will keep spawning those, so... Let's cut down this last one here. Actually, let's collect all these presents. Wee! Whoa, look at all the sparkles. <laughs> I wonder if you can slow the game down by doing that. Okay, so this one's going down. Yes, and you guys, I, this is my favorite Christmas tree right now, just because it spawns stuff. Hopefully next year, if we get something like this, I don't know if they'll be able to top this Christmas tree because they have to make something new next year. They can't make the same stuff. But uh, hopefully it's something better. I think by far this is going to be the best Christmas tree, though. All right, five seconds. It'll give us another 75,000, which probably won't we won't be able to upgrade a wall with that. We don't have four, uh, four million yet, but we can still upgrade a wall with the four million elixir that we have. Dang. So I'm really excited about this update, you guys. We've got a lot of good stuff this holiday season, and they uh, Supercell announced it that uh, they had a good year. So I'm really excited for it. 2015, we're going to have more stuff coming. I'm hoping that it's going to be more spells and more troops. I can't wait. And so I have my Christmas tree. That's the only one that I have that's outside of the grassy area, but that's okay. I think I can keep that one. So you guys, uh, let's actually just show you a defense replay that I have with this setup. Let me see if I can show you uh, how my defense has been doing here. It seems everybody is good at attacking on Christmas. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because the loot is higher <laughs> for Christmas, but I'm excited I got at least one defense win this time. And I think he messed up just because he spammed all his wall breakers in there like that. That's a no-no. Never do that. It only takes three wall breakers to get a blue wall like that if they're maxed. And so he spammed them all in there and they, they all went down. So now he has his golems blocking all the weapons with their face and they're going to try and force their way in not a bad strategy though i believe this is a go wipe yeah this is go wipe he's got the pegas going around and that's another uh area he messed up in he didn't uh, spread out his golems to take out the surrounding areas so now his heroes are going to work their way around there should be like a whole class in school of this stuff <laughs> because there's a lot to you have to learn about Clash of Clans. If you're going to be a high level gamer and you're going to be attacking strong bases, you have to know the ins and outs. 
and I'm guessing he wanted to force his way in with all of his golems with him, but it cost him, and now his heroes went around the outsides. So they might be able to get the 50%, but we already know the outcome. The uh, Clan Castle troops are going to take him down. And yes, I'm still experimenting with my Clan Castle troops. So balloons, Valkyries, and Witches, are, it seems like they're the best troops so far. But you guys, thank you for watching. Hope you had a great Christmas, a good 2014 year for Clash of Clans. Let's make 2015 just as awesome. I'll see you guys next time. Gusting out.